As investigators are now in the process of testing items that could be connected to the disappearance of Anna Walsh, a clearer picture is emerging of her husband Brian and his troubled financial past. Court documents show he was involved in a bitter legal battle over his father Thomas Walsh's estate. Friends as well as Walsh's nephew alleging in signed affidavits the elder Walsh and his son had been estranged for years after Brian Walsh absconded with almost $1 million from Dr. Thomas Walsh. Court records also say because of the alleged theft, it required Dr. Thomas Walsh to continue working past the age at which he had wished to retire, as a significant amount of his savings were stolen and never returned. And that's part of the reason why these court documents say Walsh's father cut his only son out of his will in the years before his death in 2018. Despite that, Walsh took steps to take control of his father's estate while saying in a sworn affidavit he and his father had been estranged several times over the years but says they mended their relationship. Ultimately, Walsh's legal efforts were unsuccessful. A judge ruled against him. But those same documents revealed more information about Walsh's past, including that at some point he had checked himself into a mental health facility. His father's friends calling him a sociopath in court documents dated in 2019, saying Brian is not only a sociopath, but also a very angry and physically violent person. I want nothing to do with him. These allegations surfaced years before Walsh pleaded guilty to federal charges of selling fake Andy Warhol paintings. The victim of the fake sales saying Walsh was very convincing. He was very calculated, um, almost genius about how he went about things. That troubled pass only increasing the scrutiny around the disappearance of his wife. A bloody knife found inside the family home, law enforcement sources telling CNN a hacksaw, and cloth materials with apparent bloodstains found at a nearby trash facility. The couple's friends say nothing seemed out of the ordinary during a New Year's Eve celebration, but now coming to terms with what could be the outcome they had feared. I keep praying that in all these trash facilities, that facility that she's not found there and really so that, you know, we do have somewhere to go to, to, to honor her and like, and for her children to have somewhere to go to honor her. If someone did do something to Anna Walsh, in Massachusetts, the law does not necessarily require prosecutors to show a motive for a crime. Prosecutors like to be able to show a motive. Uh, again, I think it makes more sense to people if there is a motive, but as a matter of law, it's not required to prove a motive in most cases.